Hey all, thank you for joining in. My name is Priyanga. Now this video I want to share you um, um, a work flow that I've been working lately. Now this, um, just imagine a scenario that um, an issue tracker uh, collects the information from SAP based on the document number and write it into an Excel file saved in the SharePoint, a shared location and leave it open to a user to add um, some information um, collected from the customer, customer complaint or some other comments. So main challenge is that this file is in the SharePoint and, and used by about 15 users in the customer service department and I need to have a way to open this in the uh, in the desktop Excel app as you know if you um, go to the SharePoint on the browser if you click on it it will open in the web browser and you have the option to um, you can edit it directly there or you have the option to open it in the uh, Excel desktop so um, I try to work with the um, browser version and it's very difficult to manipulate right to the Excel uh, sheet and sort of like uh, leave it open to user to add more information to the file so um, the first point I'm going to show you how to uh, get an URL so that um, the flow can directly by using that uh, URL um, and using the launch Excel action open the file which is in the SharePoint uh, directly in the desktop app. The, the beauty of it is um, uh, you need not to sync it, sync the file into the desktop, where most of the um, uh, most of uh, the others are recommending. If you do that, uh, it, it is difficult to um, di uh, distribute this flow because um, each and every user who has synced this file to their desktop has a different file path um, with the uh, system username so I, I'm, I was looking for a um, way to have a um, static file name that is compatible with all the users so uh, the first point I'm going to show you how to get that URL because you cannot get that um, uh, such a static name with the uh, share link option um, that URL does not work with the launch Excel uh, action and the second um, uh, point is to check before opening the file um, uh, if it's already open in the system and based on that either to use the um, attached running Excel action or launch Excel so let's get into it so to get the file path um, I use uh, VB script now, before you run this script, um, you have to go to the SharePoint location and open the file in the browser and um, uh, launch that uh, file, open that file in the desktop Excel uh, and then um, run this script. Um, and what it does is uh, it will show, uh, it will um, it will, uh, the output will be a static um, URL which you can use in the launch Excel action so that it will open the file in the in the Excel desktop uh, app so this will work among all the users but make sure if some of the users has already syncing the file started syncing the file in the desktop you have to stop that um, sync 
as long as the file is already synced into the desktop, then um, if you open the file, um, it will open the desktop file. So, so that's the reason why you have to stop the syncing and and then um, proceed with the meta dimension. And now, if we want to get the file name, the next part is to um, uh, when the flow starts starts before opening the file to see if this file is already open in the system. For that, I use a dust command, uh, this dust command, an output of which is, um, looks like this, the command output. Now, during the time I took this screenshot, there was only one file is open, that is the file that, um, that I use as an example. If you have um, um, if you have many Excel workbooks open, then it will list all these uh, Excel workbooks. This will this um, list contains as I have used Excel um, as image name Excel. It will list all only the Excel workbooks right running at that time. So that means um, that means you have to search in this output. Um, the file that you're looking for to determine if it's open or not and to do that so I run the dust command and I have um, uh, set the file name into a, uh, I have saved the file name into a variable and I use the phrase text action uh, to to search the file name in the command output if the file name is in, is in the command output, then the, then it will throw the position of the of the first letter of the file name. In that case, uh, the uh, the T. And then I use this variable and uh, in the action uh, get subtext to um, to get the file name to see the file name right. So for that I have I use the file name variable uh, dot length to get the length of this string and eventually the the output of this get subtext is I saved into the is uh, Excel workbook open variable and if the file name found then the output look like look like this it's, it's the exact file name right. So once that's sorted out, the whole flow looks like this, right? Does command uh, to see if the file, uh, if the workbook is open in the system, and phrase text. And I forgot to mention the, uh, the if the file not found in the command output, that means the file is not open in the system. The position will be zip minus one, and you cannot use minus one. Uh, in the get subtext, it will throw an error. So be, before I run this uh, action, I check um, if the position is greater than zero or not. This position is always greater than zero if the file name is found, and other, uh, otherwise it's it's minus one. So you can decide how how do you implement that. Um, so the rest is is pretty straightforward. Is Excel workbook open is empty, so that means um, the file is not open in the system. So I use the static URL um, and launch the Excel. Uh, if this is uh, not empty, that means file is already open. Then I use the attach to running Excel uh, action to to attach and and um, and use the Excel workbook. That's it. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the video and if you have any different solution and uh, shorter and, uh, um, and, and a better solution, please um, write in the comments. I'm always happy to um, broaden my knowledge. I'm, st as I'm starting with uh, Power Automate um, and thank you very much for watching. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you know about the um, Power Automate desktop premium subscription model 
please um, please let me know. Uh, I'm looking for the for the for a um, suitable um, subscription to share this flow with the users. Um, ideally, uh, the a subscription model that user pays if he download the flows from from the shared pool not uh, use based sub, uh, sub uh, payment or monthly payment because either cases are not um, not ideal in my scenario i would rather prefer uh, sort of like a subscription model to distribute um, flows right and uh, if you know of anything just please uh, write on the comment i would love to know Thank you very much and talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.